Hey all, here OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at the Pouch Pass, a temperature monitoring wristband, which is something that is more in demand these days due to the ongoing pandemic. This can measure uh, your body temperature. They claim to be medically grade accurate up to 0.1 degrees. It's waterproof, lightweight, just like a fitness tracker or other wearables, and you just uh, use it seamlessly in your day to day. It will just track your temperature fluctuations throughout the day and then sync that over using Bluetooth to a companion app and alert you if you are going into a warning zone. And this is something that they also advertise as being potentially helpful for families which are larger as well as for companies. So they can actually buy multiple sets of these uh, very low cost uh, kind of monitoring wristbands and all of them can be connected up to a master application. Knowing if a specific member is feeling ill or showing any fever symptoms, and it's going to be more accurate than some of the other smartwatches that we've seen in the past, which claim to have uh, body temperature measurement, but that's basically only measuring your skin temperature, and uh, those tended to be pretty wild in terms of fluctuations depending on what environment or room you were in versus this which claims to be about accuracy as the first criteria but it is a very simple product uh, i mean it doesn't have any other functions like it doesn't track steps it doesn't have a display it doesn't show you notifications and so it does occupy you know a space on your wrist if you are an existing owner of another smartwatch or wearable that's something to consider and keep in mind although you can also wear this on your other wrist if you want to, along with a online dashboard that you can monitor anywhere from any device to see the temperature of uh, yourself and other people. You can also pick it up in packages, which is also a lower cost. So if you want to buy five of them or ten of them at once. This is what the packaging looks like. Very simple. Inside here we have just a quick user manual right on top that tells you how to download the companion app. And then we have just the pouch pass itself, along with the temperature monitoring uh, module as well as the cell battery actually popped out. The size of it is of course smaller than say a regular smartwatch and much lighter since the entire thing is just silicon and this little light plastic piece uh, doesn't have as much advanced circuitry or components, no display, so it definitely feels almost invisible when you're wearing it. The bottom portion here that contacts your skin is still what's being used for the measurement part using a coin if you want to switch out that uh, standard CR2032 battery. There's actually a little tape in here to protect the battery during transit, so you have to remove this uh, to activate the battery. And um, it's a made in Japan cell here. We can then close it up. There is a rubber gasket on the door that prevents water from leaking in, and it snaps into place. It is very simple. There's even no LED lights or anything like that. Let's take a closer look at the companion app next. Opening it up, it says you can kind of get started by tapping down below and uh, permission for notifications. When you are kind of uh, too high in terms of body temperature, it will give you a buzz on the phone. I'm gonna allow that for now. And also turning on Bluetooth. Reminder to always keep the app on in the background if you want it to give you real-time updates and notifications and also to turn the Bluetooth on. So it will drain a little bit of power on your phone, but that is going to be a trade-off if you want to have this 24-7 monitoring function on. Um, to reduce false readings, don't try and do too much uh, kind of showering or exercise that will result in the temperature being abnormal. You can also fill in info like an emergency contact so that if it reaches a threshold, it will also send that person a alert or notification. But it's found this pretty easily. And we're now in this main interface, which just uh, tells us our current temperature, which can be refreshed every single time you pull down on the app every few minutes or every hour, depending on how you set it up. So you can see the last time that it was refreshed, 12.08, and right now it's normal, 36.6 degrees. You can also see a guide here in terms of what the normal range should be. Anything lower is too low. Anything higher will also give you an alert versus a fever, high fever, or very high fever. And I can scroll down here to take a quick look at some other guides that should tell you how your body temperature will fluctuate during the entire day um, as well as some other quick articles where 4 a.m. is usually the lowest temperature for the human body. Um, under diary is where you'll see all the data stored for yourself. Monitoring up to 14 days of activity will be saved. And some other stats here, the highest recorded body temperature was 115 degrees Fahrenheit. 
uh, tapping on today, it will also tell you your lowest and highest as more records are populated. So again, it doesn't seem to track uh, more than 14 days or two weeks uh, is saved on their servers. So I guess that's okay since, again, a 14-day incubation period is usually what we kind of use these days to track if you have any COVID symptoms or things like that. Uh, but compared to, say, a fitness tracker, which saves your steps for know, months or even the past year, uh, their servers right now seem to only save it for a two-week window. Um, otherwise, tapping on settings, we can take a look at other things like when was the last time it was synced, the temperature unit can be changed from degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit, and some other things like emergency contacts and passwords, privacy can also be adjusted. So very simple and straightforward, it's not too much going on, but it does work pretty well as long as you have, uh, again, Bluetooth connected within range to this device, and you can also log into your account on any device, by the way. So you don't have to be connected to this. You can download the app on a separate phone. You can log in onto their website and using the same username and password that you set up, you're able to then track uh, how people are doing remotely. I also compared it with a manual thermometer, one of those regular ones, and the measurement was also very similar, also 36 degrees uh, about a minute or two ago. So very close and seems to do fairly well in terms of precision. Here's a snippet of what that online dashboard would look like if you have multiple people and multiple bands that you're tracking. So you can just log in using their website and they also have a Bluetooth gateway accessory. So you can uh, sync that information for the bands connected using Bluetooth, and then the info will be synced to the cloud without requiring each person wearing a band to have a phone. So at the end of the day, whether it's too simple or if it's just enough for what you need for tracking, again, your, your temperature throughout the day, um, and you're concerned with that, this could be definitely worth a closer look. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the very simple but straightforward pouch pass temperature monitoring wristband.